and emphasize enough how big it was for me because uh, uh, when I left Satyricon, uh, I was in a thin region black metal band Satyricon there for a couple of years, and uh, when I left, it was uh, the right the choice, right decision choice for all of us and for me especially then, and uh, I felt that I uh, need, you know, a new band to play in a, a cool metal band and good music, good people, and uh, in one way I wasn't promised that, you know, I, I couldn't take it for granted even though I, you know, that's the thing, uh, my main goal in life is to play heavy music. Uh, but still, you know, it's a really tough business, and it's not that you can apply for work or uh, in, you know that's regular, regular work. So uh, it was an enormous thing, actually. It was really huge, and uh, I'm really grateful and it's, and humble. It's a, it's a really big thing. I've been a huge fan for many years. I remember I saw uh, entombed in uh, Sun Swall that I toured with uh, Refused and Fireside. And uh, I saw LG, the vocalist, they had this shirt on that said like 666 Satan. And I was like, oh, really shit, that's a, a real devil version. Because <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that before. I was like, whoa. And uh, it was had such an impact on me and the music. And uh, I remember like the first time I heard that kind of music, it was, you know, had enormous impact because I didn't know how how they did it, how, how could they sing like that, how could they play like that, could I do that, is it even possible, is it humanly possible? And uh, it was kind of like hearing, seeing uh, like a horror movie, because it was the same thing, but the, the, the audio version was like terrifying and really exciting at the same time. Like, oh. And uh, to answer your question, it's, yeah, it's really awesome to play Entomb songs with Entomb. Looking over my shoulder, like, there you go, dude. <laughs>